Right, rank it then. Phase mm. one. It's time to kick this off. Um, I will say, before I even read it out, I'm going to do this in reverse order. Okay. Um, first two, probably going to cause some question marks here. Um, Iron Man 2. But, well, if, Iron if, Man 2 is number six. Was, oh, um, what? Yeah. Below? Yeah. Uh, let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Uh, yeah, Iron Man 2 is at the bottom for me. Um, I felt both villains in that pretty shite. Didn't really do much for me. Sam Rockwell, nah. What? Mickey Rourke, nah. I mean, like both of them well, the noise did was, nothing was for that, me. That, was that there? Nah, the noise Mickey Rourke makes. <laughs> yeah, like, basic, <laughs> basically, <laughs> basically. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, just didn't do anything for me. Um, although there are some positives to it, I will say. Um, Listen to the next segment. Yeah, so find out what they <laughs> Bring are. All they up. <laughs> just, uh, but yeah, Incredible Hulk is number five on my list. Has anyone rewatched it recently? Yes. No. I think it stands up alright. It does. Yeah. Recently, I think it's. I think. I think the first two thirds are pretty good. Aren't yeah. They? yeah. Yeah. I think like in a lot of ways, as much as I love what they've done with the Hulk for the MCU. Yeah. I think that's yeah for the like the best you know the first two acts mm. is how you do a Hulk film. Yeah. Like that's it, I was watching it like the bit in the favela and yeah. like just him living in Very Brazil. Good. Like, yeah, yeah. Is um is yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Like it's really good. To be fair, I still can't. I've not seen it, either of them Don't watch the Ang Lee recently one. enough to Lee know the difference so. between this one and the Ang Lee one. Yeah. So. Oh, the dog, see, that's, that's, a, that's yeah. borderline that heresy. That, that is a bad one. one. Yeah. That is a bad one. Is the Ang Lee one where it the does dogs. all the split screens yes. and stuff? Yeah. yeah. The one that's just tried to make it look like a very bad. Yeah. Someone yeah. did his dad in it and all like, that. Uh, Crap. He, he gave it a go, didn't he, Ang? Bless him. He gave it a go. It didn't. It did work out. It was like early days of superhero films. I can kind of... Now... After everything we've had, I can yeah. kind of forgive it. That's yeah, that, I think that's what it is. Looking back on it, I'm like, you know what? He tried something. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah, number four, Thor. Oh, Thor, yeah. Thor, I was like... Lazy, if you ask me. That's just because it rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> it was... Um, yeah, that's for me, just it, I just... Watching back on it, I don't think him, his, his acting in that dated that well. I think he's quite... It's just flat. See, yeah, I, I, me, but I can't get over it. The what, sorry? The eyebrows. I was oh, just about to say the eyebrows is what takes it over yeah, the edge. Is... And the hair, it's just like it's yeah. weird. I, I think because now we've seen how good it could be, it's almost kind of ruined it for me. Mm. Which, going back, I'm like... Yeah, yeah rewatching no. it. like Because just forewarning, I'm going to use that sentence a lot because yeah. I did rewatch them all. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, <laughs> like, but like, I, I forgot how much... like Because I think Tom Hiddleston's kind of been like brought up as this kind of like... We saw Draby as the bad guy <laughs> yeah. on Tumblr. But like, in terms of like the first time you see mm. him, he like acts that so well. Like he's he's, he's, he's probably he's, my he's favorite like, character in that. Yeah, he steals film. the show for yeah. me. Like, and yeah, I remember yeah. coming out of the cinema thinking, like, bloody hell, like Loki was fantastic <laughs> yeah. in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he, he fit the fair. character well. <laughs> I mean, yeah, <laughs> obviously. But. Uh, number three, Captain America. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. We're happy with that one. <clears throat> All right. I'm just gonna not... I'm just gonna do the t- the top three. Yeah. Um, two, I've got down as Iron Man, and one, the Avengers. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's discuss then i guess like I we've already we've touched on the bottom three we'll yeah. leave them as they are because they're right um yeah, we can yeah it's not really debate, is it? that's a, yeah i mean that's i know matt's it. matt's not happy with iron man 2 being last I'm not. I'm um not. but we'll go into that yeah as to why so yeah, i would put iron man 1 at the top of that phase i still would think. you i Fair. really really like that film yeah I more so than avengers i think it's a better film really yeah well as, oh, wow. as a okay. film in terms of a the story, like the way that film starts, is do you know what I mean? Yeah. It, like the starting this whole thing off, and it starts in Iraq with people getting blown up. It was quite shocking. Do you know what I mean? It's a really yeah, powerful, especially correct. considering it followed films like Daredevil and yeah. Electra. Mm. Exactly. Yeah, it was pretty bold statement. It's such yeah. like a powerful film. I just think it's a dead good. Yeah, it's really I well. I think yesterday told, about really uh, solid. John Favreau wanted to hire like an unknown actor. What for? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. And then he's still rocked down junior. He's like, this is literally your life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is you. Just do it. I, I, I saw an audition tape yesterday from like, like when he was like auditioning for Robert Downey Jr. Um, Tony, well, that's the point. Of yeah. <laughs> Someone just commented just being like, that's, that's Tony Stark auditioning to be Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. <laughs> but you can tell he's like, mm. he's, he's very uncomfortable in the role, but you can kind of tell he's almost trying too hard. Mm. Whereas like when you watch the films now, it's like, that is just you. That is yeah. how you act it's on a, a daily basis. It's his life, isn't it? Yeah, like, like, yeah. Being a bit of a Who knew Stanley idiot. could predict the future? Mm. Or whoever actually wrote Iron Man. I'm not yeah, sure who sure. did Iron Man. But I don't know. No, anyway. Sh- predicting the future. Iron Man, Joe. Uh, don't actually know. Oh, oh, as you can tell, we always check our facts on real film. Edited that in here. Oh, God, I'm, I'm giving you more work to, to do now. Oh, is this the thing I've got to do now? <laughs> You're the comic book nerd here. I know. I'm sure well, I'm while sorry. you look up facts, um, I want to see if let's just go top three. Then 
What do we think that IMDb's got as their top three out of them? Obviously the Hulk. We're going round or? Don't know. Collaborate. Um, Go for it. I would say Avengers number one, I think. I I, I think, think I think Iron Man might be number one. I, I think, think Iron Man, Man might be number one, yeah. yeah. I think Iron, Iron Man Avengers. Avengers, yeah. I think no one had anything to backlash against with Iron Man. Like Avengers yeah, got to the point true. where it's popular enough that some dickhead would be like, oh, I hate it. <laughs> Just people <laughs> really round beating Yeah, a lot up. of people now seem to have gone sour on Avengers 1. Yeah, though. yeah like, a lot of people. I think people like, have gone sour on Weedon, though, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. Because it's like, I've heard people like being like, oh, they still talk like Joss Whedon and stuff like that. Yeah. And I still don't really get that. No, no I, I don't. don't, I, don't. I, don't. I was like, like I, did, I did kind of get it. Like, yeah. when I, because I've heard the same criticism. Like, I was. I, yeah, I was kind of listening back and I was like, I mean, I kind of get it. It's like there's like certain dialogue Cap has, <clears throat> excuse me, that's like just really kind of, mm-hmm. yeah, it just like, doesn't feel like Cap. Yeah, yeah. Where it's like, but the, the more like quips. Yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. like, I think he's just very quippy. It's like if you watch Buffy as well, everyone's yeah. witty as hell. Everyone's really funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's like. There's no one boring. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's like full of like wisecracks. So yeah. it was the first, for me, the first sign of funny Thor. Like that continued on to mm. Ragnarok with the whole like he's adopted and stuff like that. Yeah, I yeah. Think that, little lines. I, can I think it solidified see, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. but so, I think I can kind of see the Whedon point with that mm, though, because mm. that was like for, at that moment out of character for Thor. So you're yeah. saying Iron Man and then Avengers. Iron, Iron Man and Avengers. Avengers. What's number three? I'm gonna say Cap. I would I'm, say I'm Cap, Cap I'm even a... though I'm not that. Here he is. I, I would, would love agree. Cap. <laughs> I would love it to be Cap. I genuinely think it might be Thor that just tops Cap. I'd go Cap. Uh, Guff, you win that one. But technically, there's a bit of a tie because oh. Iron Man 2 is actually. They're both on seven. Piss Iron, off. Iron Man what? 2 and Thor are both on seven. Really? Yep. Wow. Um, oh. Yep. And then actually, uh, Matt was right. Uh, the Avengers is top for IMDb, oh, and man. then Iron Man. Although, if you look at Rotten Tomatoes, they're flipped. Um, yeah, that, I think that's what yeah. I was confusing. Yeah. So, Iron Man, that, yeah. Avengers, and then Cap is third for that one. So, uh, Usually I hate Rotten Tomatoes for a lot of stuff, yeah. but... So we got Rotten Tomatoes, right? Yeah, Rotten, Rotten Tomatoes, Tomatoes you're probably yeah. about right on. People um, don't understand Rotten Tomatoes is my thing about it. Yeah, yeah. People that's... don't understand, like, it's not a rank, rank of the film, it's how what percent of people yeah. gave it a positive review rather yeah, than... Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, how, yeah. How much they actually... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, People are idiots. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, you may That's maybe... for another podcast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> a season, season two. two. Uh, <laughs> um, got a kiss. Well, yeah, that is... A Hulk at the bottom. Uh, Hulk is at the bottom for both, yeah. uh, but they're both wrong, so it's yeah. fine. We can move on. Yeah, I, I disagree. Um, I, you know what though? Someone has to take bottom place. I know. Someone does. Yeah. That, well, I wonder if, I was... if it's Mark Ruffalo, and they kind of like knew it was part of the MCU. Would it still be bottom? They should definitely like because no one's going to rewatch right. it because yeah. like, well, they get Mark it. Ruffalo to film all those scenes and just superimpose him. Yeah. Like, you know, I didn't film. mind Edward Norton to be honest. Although I, I will like say, no, just because that, that's I think that's what puts me off rewatching it because mm. I'm like. Uh, that that stuff does annoy me when they recast yeah. people. Yeah. Like yeah. looking back at Iron Man One, that's what I, that yeah, with Iron Man One with Rhodey. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I yeah. honestly do not like Terence Howard. I don't mm. compared to Don Cheadle. My uh, no, yeah. no. Well, I even don't, as a person, I've heard he's a muppet. Oh really? <laughs> so, yeah, I've heard like so many stories we've been. There. But yeah, like I don't like. Yeah, he's not as he's not nearly no. got as much chemistry he's, on screen yeah. with him than Don Cheadle. He's not, but it just annoys me when like no, it's fair such recasts. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Especially as like a main character, yeah. like the the Hulk. Yeah. See, like going back to like the Hulk though, like I was think I was actually just thinking of it last night and I was like, what a weird flip because I was thinking obviously those films came like a month a few months apart. Like yeah. they're not there's not a big gap between them. Yeah. But I was like, I wondered if like the reason they did Hulk was that they had a safe option. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like be- because well, it because it was, the was already out there. Yeah, because that Iron Man was the one where it was like, we're about to start this new studio. Mm-hmm. With a character that's quite unpopular in the comics compared to others, we've mm. already had a Hulk film. That's more common knowledge. That's more in the public eye. Sure. Let's make a Hulk film to definitely bring people in in case people just go, mm. "Who the hell is Iron Man? Yeah, no, we're yeah. not going to go." Yeah. But it then what weird a weird that flip was, that that's yeah. that wasn't that long ago that everyone would be like, "Why are they doing an Iron Man film?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mean, that's Iron true. Man. That's true. Yeah, thinking Considering back to how much of a cultural thing it is now. Yeah, mm. it's, it's crazy. Isn't it? it was a long time. Ago. He was a household yeah. name from that film. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And he's like, he was never that before. Like none of the Avengers were. Like none of the Avengers were household names at all mm. no true no. Okay. good right. stuff there's good. my ranking done very good yeah. we'll very move good on class. to the next segment which is uh, David's going to chat about Obadiah Stane mm-hmm. 